Yeah, I would just say this. Again, um, I wouldn't really kind of going, going forward into the future from this point onward, although at times it might be useful for people to compare and contrast the limited government position with the no government position, and I still do think it is the great debate of our time because it largely kind of incentivizes people uh, to pursue certain means rather than others. I would just say this, like Vanu itself is an ends and means and an insight. And I think part of that insight that Rayo was trying to uh, teach people was that whether we have you know, rulers, a few rulers, or limited rulers, which kind of doesn't make any sense, or, or, or no rulers, uh, the point is, let's let's be invulnerable to coercion, right? Because the private criminal element we will have with us always, simply because people have free will and for whatever their reasons are, uh, they will choose to violate property rights. And so even if we were living in Ancapistan, we would still need to have an invulnerability to coercion from private criminals and real felons and so forth. So I think, uh, I think Vanu is very practical for libertarians in that sense. And that is, uh, that is a good point uh, as well. If uh, Incapsin comes around tomorrow, you'll still need Vonnie. Hey, it's Jane here, one of the hosts of the Vonnie Podcast. If this excerpt intrigued you or you think you might be interested in the subject matter, come give us a listen. We release podcasts every Tuesday, and you can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and Google Play. Just search for The Vonnie Podcast and find us at vonniepodcast.com.